Okay, this is our beautiful silk, raw silk. It's called Noir, I think. If I'm saying it wrong and it's actually Noir, then they should put an R at the end, not an L. But it looks like it's called Noir. If I'm saying that wrong or it's Noil, I'm sorry. Anyway, look at the texture. This is what I wanted for all the cool fine leaves and to try a bunch of stuff with. So it arrived. I'm going to pre-soak it after cutting some strips from it. This looks nice to sew on. Maybe I'll sew on it. <gasps> Do I just love silk now? I've become fancy in this process, everybody. Not fair to any of us. All right, well, I'm going to cut this down just a little bit so that it's a little more manageable and then get it pre-soaking for the night so it can be mordanted tomorrow and we can die with it. Or maybe mordanted tonight. There's eight hours in the day. The first batch of silk is mordanting. It is mordanting in oak gall tannins right now, or oak gall tannin extract, I suppose. Uh, we will also do a batch in alum because I'm trying to hack what the lady speaking, um, very localized Thai is speaking and doing because I can't get my Google to to figure it out and neither can babble. So I think it's a very dialectical tie. But anyway, I've got to figure out how she's doing it. So part of these we're going to oak gall tannin, part of them we're going to tannin in alum. Uh, but the first batch is in and it's going. So there goes the foofy silk. It'll be in there for about an hour. Hello, we are mordanting our silk now in alum. If I hurry fast enough, I'll have time to die with it today it's fine hyper focus is great anyway when you're mordanting is when you can bring out your inner witch and just or let your kid do it if you give them a long enough spoon and gloves to be safe just let them mix the bejesus out of it you can't mix it too much as long as it's not actively boiling your silk silk can tolerate a lot more um heating and washing than one might expect is what i learned Anyway, so we're mordanting our silk, and then we will eventually be ready to do some dyeing experiments with it and see how that lady was getting those leaf prints. I will figure it out. I'll do it. I don't have a fig leaf or any of the weird leaves she had, but might have to go to a nursery. Anyway, that's an alum. Okay, today on Chasing the Dye Lady on the Internet's uh, Dye Problems. I have alum mordanted silk. I have oak gall tannin mordanted silk off camera. We're going to dip the leaves in iron because I think that's what she was dipping them in in the video. We're going to lay them down, rib side down, and we're going to roll it. We're not going to use any blankets. She got beautiful prints. They didn't look like iron prints. They looked very colorful. I am going to use all a variety of all the leaves I have to see what works. Uh, I'm going to make two. This one is on alum, one on oak gall, before I commit an entire giant piece of silk, which I was about to do. Let's not do that. Okay, I will show you when this is laid out. Okay, as you can see, I have put one of every leaf that I'm currently in possession of that looks sturdy enough to do this with. And I'm going to do the same on an oak gall tannin one with dipped leaves that have been dipped in iron. And we will see if that's how the lady is doing it. Hello! I do apologize for the weird lighting as it is now again the night. But we have our two silk prints where we're trying to mimic the tie dyeing experts tutorial that I saw. And we did one in oak gall mordant and one in alum mordant. Both of them, we dipped the leaves in iron and laid them down with no dye blanket, just they themselves together. So this is the alum one. <clears throat> I actually remembered to pick which was which. And I'm hopeful that we'll figure out how she's doing this because I put in a bunch of different leaves. I think I translated that she was using teak leaves. My Google Lens identified a, I want to say it was like a, 
not a loquat leaf, but a, uh, oh, what kind of leaf was it? Oh, flipper. It was some kind of fruit tree leaf. Anyway, okay, looks like we got some reactions at least. Okay, we got reactions. Hey, we got something. Okay, this turned orange instead of red, which is interesting. Okay, this did absolutely nothing. Won't use that again. <laughs> Great. That was a waste. So those are not useful to us. The eucalyptus printed. We did get the little iron edges again, which is interesting. But again, it's not printing like she was getting. So maybe it's on, maybe it requires the oak gall tannins, perhaps. That's what we're trying to figure out, how she's doing it. And if not, I'm just, I'm literally going to go on to Reddit uh, Thai and see if someone will translate it for me. But these are printing very cool. And I was curious to see how the loquat leaf would print. This particular eucalyptus printed in a really cool way. That would make a great pattern. And did the loquat leaf do much? Not very much at all. Also very interesting. The rose leaf, also not very much. But again, this was on alum, not on oak gall. So it's the iron can only react to the tannin in the leaf. So there's our alum mordanted silk. We did get a print. There is a pretty print. And there are some really fun colors. So there's one. Pretty cool. Okay, hopefully all the color will stay. And then the other one is on oak gall tannin fabric, which theoretically you should have more of a reaction. And, oops, sorry, I'm off camera trying to dig a wet leaf off of this or else I'll never find it again. Got it. Okay, here we go. Now this one, I was really hopeful it would work because I was thinking this might be what she's doing. I probably will end up being wrong, but I did a technique where you fold over the edges to get a kind of a double print. So I did that technique to fit a larger piece of fabric onto the dowel. Here we go. Get this out of the way. Okay. And... Okay, it looks like we definitely got some printing. Very cool. Okay, I think I rolled it up like this. We'll see when we unfold it. Okay, plastic. Okay, let's see. Maybe this is how she was getting her perfect prints. Closer? We did something. Nope, this is still not how she's doing it. We're going to figure it out. And this is cool. But she's still doing something different. And we will figure it out. We got some pretty colors. This makes me think maybe she's iron mordanting the silk. That wouldn't make sense because we're not supposed to do that. And then the silk would no longer be white. I have got to figure out how that lady's doing it. We're getting close. We're getting color. But I do not think that she's mordanting in oak all tannin. The loquat leaves did not hardly print at all. Also interesting. And the other prints are pretty cool. Again, the eucalyptus just coming in clutch here. So fun on the eucalyptus, but I remain baffled. Okay, well... We are going to wash these and hopefully we'll eventually figure out how that lady is doing this. But like some of these are really beautiful. Like we've got some beautiful greens and hopefully they stay. It's a very subtle color. And we could probably darken this whole thing overall if we just dumped it in an iron bath. You can see where um, some rusty uh, water got onto the edge of it. 
or where it was touching the edge of the pan. So we are getting leaf prints, but it's not what I'm expecting. So the mission continues. I will wash these and see you when they're dry. So here is our flower steam bundle printing version two, which I think came out much better. If I do any more, I will post another experiment, but I would be so appreciative for a like and a follow or a comment on which one was your favorite. These are those fun mums, and I think I have a few more flowers left that I can poke at, but I think these would make such a fun like apron, and we got a beautiful print out of the rose leaf as well, even if it's a little light. So I still am going to do a lot of experiments with this beautiful silk. And if you'd like to join me, please go ahead and subscribe as I try to make myself a more independent, partially disabled artist. Anyway, I will see you in the next experiment. Bye. All right. So here is our dried first attempt at trying to copy the tie dyers process. We are closer, I think. You can see that we did get a print off of the mango leaf. These are from all the different eucalyptuses that came out in all these fun oranges and greens. And they came out beautifully, but they did not come out in the perfect way that hers did. So it's possible I just don't have the leaves that she does. That is possible. It's also possible that I'm still doing it wrong. So I'm going to see if someone can translate the tie for me, but this is our first one, which is also very beautiful. And we did get a print off the loquat leaf, even if it's a bit muted, a little odd, but we're working it out. And let's take a look at the second piece.